Hello everyone. My name is Priyank Saxena, and today in this video we'll be talking about NEET crash course. Right now, today I'll be talking about chemistry, NEET chemistry. What is a brief uh, outlook of chemistry? How many marks uh, does it comes from? Different different topics, and what all topics are to be included, and how much time we'll be taking to complete those topics. So now. What uh, need crash course actually chemistry are uh, out of uh, 720 marks we'll be having around 180 marks for chemistry 25 percent weightage is for chemistry rest 25 for physics 20 50 percent is for biology okay now in chemistry we we know we are having three parts one is a physical chemistry second is a organic chemistry third is a inorganic chemistry okay that all is in 11th also 12th also all the three parts are 11th and 12th now See the number one thing when we'll be starting up our crash course, okay. The very first thing we'll be going with our physical chemistry. Physical chemistry, what it comes, the very first chapter, it comes basics of chemistry, stoichiometry, molarity, molality, normality, and these all things, mole fraction, atomic number, atomic mass, neutrons, electrons, protons, these all things we'll be covering in first chapter for a basic, for the basic overview that what it all it consists of, of how many atoms, molecules, everything we'll be calculating. The next chapter we'll be doing with the atomic structure. Atomic structure in this Rutherford model and different models, quantum numbers. These all topics we'll be doing up into that. The third one we'll, we'll be doing up in a periodic properties. Sometimes periodic properties, some people will consider it to be in a inorganic chemistry. But maximum times it will be, we'll be uh, <coughs> taking it over here. Why? Because it is a brief overview. It will tell about the element where, where is it present. Is it uh, present in a first period, second period, third period, or means uh, what are the properties, what are the outlook of those elements. Final that we'll be going with the chemical bonding, chemical bonding, chemical bonding, it comes, many theories will come, BACPR theory will come, how does the atom will attract, how does the atom will reflect, and these all things will come into it. So like this, we'll be doing up, these are topics, one by one we'll be doing up. Okay. Then redox reaction, it will tell about the oxidation number and different things that uh, how electron is being transferred between one atom to another atom, how oxidation takes place, how reduction takes place, these all things will be telling about over here. Now, thermodynamics, when it comes to thermodynamics, it is a somewhat a bit, a, bit of a difficult chapter, a bit of a tricky chapter, and at least one portion, 100% will come every year in need. More than one portion, two or three portions has also been asked many times, but one portion is sure shot will come from almost every chapter. Thermodynamics, one to two portions will easily come. Thermodynamics, we'll be talking about different law of thermodynamics, law, first law, zero law, second law, we'll be talking of entropy, we'll be talking of Gibbs free energy, we'll be talking will the reaction is possible or not possible, these all things we'll be talking of. Chemical equilibrium and ionic equilibrium, actually it comes in the same chapter, but we can, because the chapter is very, very big, we can divide it into two parts, one is a chemical equilibrium, second one is a ionic equilibrium. Chemical equilibrium means we'll be talking of simple reaction like physical reaction or chemical reaction. While ionic equilibrium will be talking about over there that what are the means uh, when the equilibrium is between the ions. This is 11th physical chemistry. Then it comes, then it comes out over here. Then it comes, comes out over here. 12th physical chemistry. 12th physical chemistry will be reading about solid state. What are the atoms? How they are being constituted? What it happens up when uh, one, one side will be, means uh, we'll be seeing up that in <coughs> solid state if... Uh, uh, one atom is having up a one type, one type of uh, shape, the another type, atom is having up a another type of shape. Okay, so we will be talking of that unit lattice and many things like that in this solid state chapter. Liquid solution, we will be talking of again boiling point, melting point, depression in boiling point, different things that how does if you add up some uh, sugar or salt, salt and water on any liquid, how does its vapor pressure and different things will change up. So we will be talking of these all things. Electrochemistry, we'll be talking of cells and their potentials, okay. chemical kinetics, surface chemistry is a highly theoretical topic. In this topic, we have to learn up a lot, lot of things. Actually, the ma maximum portions it will come up over here will be from based on the NCRT. So actually, in this uh, means these all things will be having up a good amount of numerical. They will be having up a good amount of numerical. But this topic, surface chemistry, will be maximum of a theoretical topic. So what will happen up here? The next, next we'll see after till this point physical chemistry for the crash course is done. Now we'll be moving up with the inorganic and the organic part. First we'll try to do the organic part. So what will happen up here? Eleventh organic chemistry number one it comes nomenclature. Nomenclature 
every two three years one question comes on nomenclature and it is very very easy like for example they can tell up any compound over here they can tell up a compound right we are having up a ch3 ch we are having up a bromine connected over here here it will be ch2 here it will be ch3 what is the name of this compound they can ask about the isomerism that what kind of isomerism is it showing is it showing up a uh, structural isomerism is it showing up a stereo isomerism under stereo it is showing up a optical isomerism or some other isomerism it can tell general then we will be moving to the general organic chemistry it's the most important part see i'll tell you whenever we will be writing up a neat <coughs> out of 45 questions okay around 33 33 33 percent approximately not exactly physical organic and inorganic chemistry comes in organic chemistry here we will be having up a general organic chemistry See, I'll tell you 30 to 50 percent of organic questions, 30 to 50 percent of organic questions, they are directly or indirectly, they are directly or indirectly connected with GOC. GOC will be reading in class 11th, it will be used in class 12th, it will be used in every chapter of class 12th also. So this is very, very important. Purification of organic compound. Purification of organic compound is means uh, we'll be having up a different process, crystallization, and many other process how for example one compound is there which is uh, means one hydrocarbon is there how much percentage is hydrogen in that how much percentage is carbon is that how many how much percentage is oxygen in that okay so this we will be seeing up in 11th organic chemistry then when we will move to 12th organic chemistry again we have to read up a goc over here again we have to read see the difference in the 11th goc and that 12th goc over here is 11th goc will be having up a diff basic parts like uh, means uh, how does a bond takes place and uh, how does a bond uh, dissociation or formation takes place what are the electronic effect what is aromaticity what is inductive effect what is resonance what is mesomeric effect different effects will be there 12th chemistry it will be comprised 12th general organic chemistry it will be comprising of mainly reactions that how does the elimination takes place how does the substitution takes place okay these all things will be taking place over here now alkyl and aryl halide next chapter we'll be talking of halides maximum halide, uh, means all the halides that what are the reactions of halides how do how can we prepare up a alkyl halide aryl halide like this the third is we'll be going with the alcohol phenol ether alcohol which is having up a oh group and phenol which is having up a benzene with a oh group okay and ether we'll be talking of their properties and method of preparation basic and, and the basic questions okay then aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid we will be talking of again same thing same preparation same property same type of reactions but for aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid we will be moving with the amines primary amines secondary amine tertiary amine something like this then finally we will be moving with the biomolecules biomolecules you people must be reading up in um, <coughs> biology also but we here it will be something something of a different here it will be something of a different some reactions will be there which are not in biology so we'll cover up in chemistry also it will be covered up in biology also okay completely each and every topic will be done over here polymers will polymer is a easy topic and every year one question comes very very easy question comes what type of question comes from polymer that uh, tell me that for example neoprene is there what is its uh, monomer huh? for example buna is, is there what is its monomer for example, some other polythene is there or Teflon is there. What is its monomer? Directly question comes, which hardly takes 10 seconds to take up an answer and we'll get one question. Chemistry in everyday life will be talking about medicines, that what are the medicines, how medicines will take place, what will happen up like this. <laughs> we'll be talking of chemistry in everyday life. Then, then it comes to, then we'll be coming to, again 11th, inorganic chemistry. Now we'll be starting up with a inorganic chemistry inorganic chemistry here will be having up inorganic chemistry will be under this class 11 first one is hydrogen it will be simply talking about hydrogen hydrogen and its isotopes like hydrogen is having up isotope hydrogen deuterium tritium so we'll be talking of these all isotopes over here then it comes s block hmm? s block will be talking of group one and group two elements over here group one group two what are the properties how the size varies up how the ionization energy varies up how, what happens to its uh, electron gain enthalpy what happens to its melting and boiling point then it comes to p block see p block comes in class 11th also p block comes in class 12th also class class 11th will be having up a group 13 and group 14 while uh, it will be having up a group 13 and group 14 while in class 12 you'll be having up a group 15 16 17 and 18 
four groups are in class 12, two groups are in class 11. Environmental chemistry, it's a pure theoretical, maximum theoretical topic. We'll be again taking up over here, maximum based on the NCRT over there. So one by one, all the topics will be taken up in organic chemistry. And like this is what 11th in organic chemistry. Now, what happens? That 12th in organic chemistry, first, the first thing what we'll be doing up, we'll be doing up a metallurgy. Metallurgy is means uh, that metallurgy will be telling about uh, that which all topic we are, sorry, like for example, copper we use. How does that copper we get? We get it from our ore, then we clean up that ore, then we convert that <laughs> into its oxide, then we convert that oxide into a copper, then we convert that copper into a pure copper. Like this, we'll be having up a extractive metallurgy, metallurgy for different, different elements over there. Now, what happens up here? That P block, the next is P block. As I told now, here it will be group of a group 15, group 16, group 17, and group 18. So P block here, group 17, group 18. <coughs> These four groups will be taking up over here, P block. Here also properties. Here we will be considering more like, for example, group 15 is having up a nitrogen. So we will be seeing up a nitrogen is having up a different compound like HNO3 is there. Is a nitrogen compound okay no2 is a nitrogen compound okay there are many compounds of nitrogen so we will be seeing up what are the properties of these compounds how these compounds are made and what are the <coughs> different different things we will be having like nh3 is also a compound we will be seeing up these all properties in this p block d and f block elements we will be seeing up a d and f block same thing everything will be same just the elements will change properties everything what we will discuss melting point boiling point atomic size uh, here and here we'll be seeing, seeing up a lanthanide and actinide contraction also. Many different things will be. Coordination chemistry, very, very important, very, very good chapter. At least one to two questions will be asked every year in on this, every year. Right? So here we'll be seeing up a coordination compound. What is its valency? What it is primary valency? What is secondary valency? How many isomers it will be showing up? Will it show up a optical isomers or not? Will it show up some other thing or not? Like this, we'll be having up. So this is what a brief outlook of our neat crash course of class 11th and class 12th combined. Class 11th and class 12th combined. I have come, taken all the topics. I have told all the topics. And this is what in this sequence we will be moving up in this neat crash course. Okay. So we can conclude up over here. That's it. I think. Yeah. That's all for the presentation. That's it. Thank you.